I, well, I am a mother of two. I raised these two kids that are now married and have gave me four grandchildren. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, uh, so I haven't ended it. <laughs> yeah. I I think that I throughout my career, my life, I've been very disciplined, and I have always included like the run in the morning or in the evening, and made the extra effort to to fit it in no matter what. You know, I think that that's what took me throughout my career. It continues to take me every day, energizes me. If I don't do it, I don't have the energy. So that's how I did it. I didn't skip anything. I didn't want to take a long time off when I had my children. I worked throughout. I'm a workaholic. And being a workaholic <laughs> energizes me too. <laughs> So I'm the mother of two children, 24-year-old, 26-year-old, and I can say that having worked throughout my entire career, they ended up really okay. <laughs> but there were lots of times I worried as I was flying off to Singapore and setting my alarm so I could call them when they got home from school. You can stay connected, and I, and I thought I could, but there were many times that I wondered if I were really balancing at the right time. Was I doing a good job because I had to be home with the kids because they were sick? Uh, was I doing a, a, a good job mothering? You know, you always question it. And I think you can't ever say that you're balancing on any given day. You're balancing over the week. You're balancing yep. over the months. You're where you need to be. Sometimes you need to be at work and sometimes you need to be with the kids and you've got to figure out your own personal balance there. But I'm relieved to say they're still calling. My way of relaxation is... <laughs> I get home from work, and that's usually when I have to do my email because I'm in meetings all day. I'm a habitual overcommitter. And at night, I do my email after dinner for an hour. My husband understands that. I will watch the CSI program with him eventually. But first, I have to get done my email. And my children, because they're on the East Coast and the West Coast, typically will call me on their way home. Three, four times a week, I'll get a call, and I catch up with them. And that's my way of turning off, hearing about their day for the 15 minutes, and then sort of winding down. Mm, that's great. Anybody else? I, I, have, um, I have two boys. They're um, 14 and 16. And I think for me, the, the stages of um, sort of balancing differed. When they were young, I used to think um, it, I was like I was walking on a tightrope all the time because it was all about the child care and you know, like if the one was sick, how I was going to get to school. So I, I felt it was much more physically exhausting and always very perilous because it was anything could change at a dime. And that was hard. Now that they're older, it's very different. I mean, they're kind of, it's more like, you know, do you, are you, are you around enough? Are they imparting the right values? Who are they hanging around with? That kind of, and it's, it's a very different dynamic. But, but one of the things that I actually find that I, and maybe it's just because it's my own self-justification, you never know, but <laughs> is um, they, they view me um, as somebody who uh, kind of through the lens of, you know, my mom does this to, you know, to, to work on these kinds of drugs to help people. And they, they view me that way. Um, and, um, and I think that we, and I feel like I can set an example for them. And so while I have two boys, I don't have girls when they grow up and they think about, you know, what, what they want their lives to be and who they want to be involved with and whatever they do, that they, they see the importance of being able to um, see women in that way. And I actually think that that's a good thing um, for them. Um, that doesn't mean that, you know, people, if, if I stayed at home, that wouldn't also have been good. But um, I actually feel like it was, a, it's a, it was a good thing for me based on what is important to me and I think what could be important for them down the road. So. I love it. And I'll take, I will add, as a mother of three, and say that um, there were, and my kids are 28, 26, and 22. And there were times where I'd say, you know, we'd have these family conversations and I'd say, you know, what do you think, I Should I stay home? My daughter would say, no, no, don't stay home. <laughs> <laughs> do not stay home. <laughs> Step away from it. <laughs> So, you know, it, it's a balance all the time. It really is. And yeah, and you have to keep the communication and you got to keep your sense of humor, that's for sure. Mm -hmm.